here on Four Acres today, making a sliding barn door for our great room. So I bought a kit on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've never built a barn door before. I have some old two by tens. I cut the rounded edges off on the table saw so that it was just straight, but I didn't do a super good job cutting them. So I need to do some ship laps so that they're overlapped a little bit and you can't see gaps through. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm using a router to do that. Um, I've made some mistakes. It's been super frustrating. I may have thrown some things in anger, but I'm back now on day two of this project, although the first day of recording. This may take a couple days. I've never done it before. bugger wanted to go by itself. It's dinner time. I think I'm supposed to be making garlic knots. So I have to go inside now and it's really, really, really cold. And I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day. Oh, there's so much dust on this lens. It's so much warmer than it was yesterday. I was so cold last night coming in from working. I got to do like a Z shape to attach all the boards together. So I got to figure out what lumber I'm going to use for that. Remember, all of this lumber is just lumber that has been reclaimed. I've either pulled it out of a dumpster or found it here at the house when we moved in. So we got to get that done. Preferably, I'd like the door constructed before Heather gets home today. These joints, they're all, they're not ideal. The router was a really bad idea. If you build a barn door and you want to do shiplap, don't use a hand router like that. A routing table maybe, but a table saw really is the right way to do it. Or even a circular saw. Definitely not what I did. I did the wrong thing. Here's where things get hard. I knew the wood was a little warped. My hope is that this brace will hold it all in place. Right now you can see the wood is really warped. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm a little surprised. Heather bought this for me on our first Christmas together, and here I am using it at our house now. I love that. Definitely built something solid. It ain't light. Looks good though, doesn't it? So we have Varthane Classic Early American. Um, I'm sure it's gonna look great. America. Hey Trouble. Hello. Oh, you are so pretty in this light. <laughs> yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? It does look really nice. So now we need to let this dry, put a coat of poly on, I guess tomorrow, and then we can hang it. Sounds like a plan. Until tomorrow. It's the next day. I think it's day four of this project. Christmas exploded. exploded. Christmas blew up in this room. Heather's working on cleaning up Christmas stuff. Yay. Well, I work on polying the door inside here. And then look at that new light we installed. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna poly this side, let it dry, flip it over, poly the other side, and then we've gotta hang it right there. Heather's doing an awesome job of de-Christmasing the room. Poly on this side of the door drying. I'm going to mount the bracket that the door hangs on, basically on that piece of trim. I think there's a stud right behind it because I need to be able to hang this on something solid because this door weighs a ton. Oh. 
Okay, first bar up. This is supposed to hold 200 pounds. I don't know how heavy this door is. Look what Heather did. Let's get the second bar up. So the door is about three quarters of an inch too tall. So we have to cut three quarters of an inch off the bottom of it. That was a project. That, <laughs> that project took so long, I grew a beard from the first scene to the last. I think it's been a week since I took that first video. It's taken several days to edit the footage. I had well over six hours of footage to go through and I still left a bunch out. I even left out installing the door handle, but there it is. Not including the poly and stain, I spent $50 on this door. The bracket was 35, the handle, and there's two handles, there's one on the other side. It was 15 for two. The drywall screws I had laying around already, along with the spray paint uh, and the stain and poly were already things that I had from previous projects. So I hope this is a good uh, insight into what you can do with very little money and make it look pretty nice. I mean, this wood was rough. Like there are saw marks in it, um, but I think for what this is, it gives it charm. On this side, you can see, I didn't show you before, I messed up the routing right here. But when you step back, it just looks like a rustic door. At the end of the day, I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm glad you were able to come along, spend some time at Four Acres and see what we've been up to. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'd like to show you what else we have going on here. And if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. That would be nice too. Thanks for watching. Remember, do the best you can with what you got and we'll see you around. Take care. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> hey, hey. It's not a worm. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Let's do it.